Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity C Sharp Bite Size tutorial. In this video, we'll be covering player prefs as a simple way to save simple data in your game, such as high scores. So to get set up, all you need is a canvas with some text. Okay, I've set the default text to be high score is zero. And then on this canvas is a script called player prefs example, and that script is empty. We're going to start there now. So to start off, we want reference to our text element. Okay, so we can change that on the UI. And then somewhere to store our score so that when we press the submit button, this is the score it's going to use. Obviously, this is just an example. So to start off, we need reference to our text element so we can change the score on the UI. And then somewhere to store the score. So obviously, this is an example. I'm going to just manually set my score and then save it and then show that when we set a score that's higher than the currently saved high score, it then overwrites it, updates the UI. Then if we stop playing our game and start again, then the UI will be updated accordingly. So it'll load it from our play press. So let's go down here and make a start method. This is where we're going to load from player press the high score and then update the UI. So as soon as we press play in Unity, it'll be updated to our high score. Okay, so to do that, we need to make an integer called high score. Okay, this is what we're going to go grab from player press. And then we need to say player press. Okay, that's how we get player press dot get. And then we can either get integers, floats or strings. Those are the different things you can store. So we're going to use an integer. That's what we're getting. And then we need to give it a key. So that's how we identify which integer to get. Because imagine it stores 10 different ints maybe. We need to give them a key. And that key is a string. So I could just type high score key. Okay. The problem is, what if I need to use it somewhere else, which I will. I don't want to have to type it again as a string because I might type it wrong or something. So ideally, we'll save this as a constant. So if we go up here, let's make a private constant string. Okay. Called high score key equals the string high score key like so and now we can just reference it as a variable and then when we need it further down in the code later we can just reference this const and we'll never have a typo the next thing though is the next parameter because what if there is no high score that we get from the player prefs you know what if they've never won before what if this is the first time we're setting it we need to go grab a kind of default value now that can be whatever you want i'm going to just set it to zero I think that might actually be the default behavior if you just don't specify it, but I still want to be explicit with this. So if there is no high score already, then the high score is zero. And let's set the text. So high score text, okay, dot text is equal to uh, high score colon and then the high score being whatever the high score is. So if we do this now and we just press play, nothing's really going to happen. So there's no point showing it because we don't have a high score set. So it'll just grab zero and then set this to be high score equals zero. So to submit the high score, we need to what? <clears throat> so to submit a high score, we need a method for it. Private void submit score. Okay. And we'll make a button for it in the UI, in the editor. So context menu, submit score. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that when we set the high score, we only set it if it is actually a high score. If the score we just achieved is lower than the high score, then don't set it. So we'll say, go grab the high score, which is this line up here. Okay. And then, whoops, once we've grabbed the high score, we then need to say, well, if our new score is greater than the high score, then in that case, we want to do something. Now, I'm going to do the inverse. So I'm going to say, if our score is less than or equal to the high score, return. Okay, just to keep it at one level indentation. Then down here, we'll say, well, now we want player prefs. Whoops. So instead of get int, we want player prefs .set int. Okay. That also requires a key and a value. So the key is the high score key we've already used. And the value is score. Okay, that's what we're going to set as the high score. And then we want to update the UI. So let's do that. But the actual high score now is score because score is higher than high score. This is technically not high score. It's more of the, the loaded score, if you know what I mean. Because the one you've got here, once you get to this line, your new score is actually higher than the one that you loaded. So it's kind of misleading this being called high score. So I'll call it the loaded score. Okay, that makes more sense. So if your score is less than or equal to the loaded one, then return. Otherwise, set yours as the new high score. Now, if we head back over into Unity, go to the canvas and reference the text element, then press play. We'll be able to put in a score like 10, then right click, submit score. It goes to 10, put 100, it goes to 100. Then if I put it to 50, it shouldn't go down to 50. Yeah, okay. Now, if I stop and then press play, it should load it up to 100. Nice. Now, one final thing to do is to add some way to reset the high score because for the sake of testing, you know, you might just put in some random high score value, but you want it to be reset. Or maybe you want your player to be able to reset the high scores. 
So the way we'll do this is we'll make another function called reset high score. Okay. And we'll also add a context menu button for this. Uh, reset high score. And all it's going to do in player prefs, you can either delete a key or you can delete all keys and values. Now you should be careful with deleting all because obviously if you have other stuff, other player prefs, you don't want to delete those. So make sure you delete the right thing. So that's player prefs dot delete key. And then the key is the high score key, which effectively will just remove the high score. And I guess at the same time, we should reset the text um, if we're going to do this to be just say zero, basically. And we don't need the dollar. Okay. If we press play, we load up our 100. We'll say reset. It goes back to zero. We stop playing. We start playing again. And then it stays at zero because that's what we, we have nothing like in the player press. So it just went back to zero. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want to see next. Thanks always for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye. But of course, before I go, I've got to thank my patrons. Special thanks to Taylor Rustio, John Selig, Liz Kimber, Drandy, Jay Colby, LN, Fabian Reno, Malvin, Zumran, David McDermott, Exit, Josh Folsom, Beard or Die, Dustin Miller, Rack, Joris Letter, Rene, Rumi Baldwin, Jay Donald, Ilya, and Lucas. If anyone else is able to help support the channel on Charlie, link to my Patreon is down below. If not, there are also links down below to other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. If you could help us out by following on any of those or checking any of those out, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.